Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about input and output streams in Java. In our last class, we clearly discussed about a runtime polymorphism. We are going to use that concept here. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, see, first we need to understand few concepts related to input and output streams. In this class, we will get a good idea about the concepts so that these concepts will be helpful in our in understanding the next classes. So when, when we write Java programs, so from where we are going to get the data? Inputs. We will give input from the keyboard. Means our Java programs has to get the data from the keyboard. Not only that, sometimes we are going to get the data from the hard disk. We are going to read the, read the files that present in the hard disk. So we need to get the data from the hard disk. Similarly, sometimes we are going to write the applications that related to the networks. Computer networks means uh, we need to connect with the network interface card from where we are going to read the data. So from the network also we are going to get the data, input data for our application means from for our code. Similarly, the data that present in our code will be sent to the display. We can send the data to copy it onto the hard disk. We, send, we can send the data to the networks. So we need to connect both ways. That is what input stream and output stream means. So what happens here is Java virtual machine means it is a runtime environment our java programs are going to be executed based on, uh, in the environment called java virtual machine we call it as jvm so whenever it, whenever the jvm is on it is going to create that streams uh, input stream and output stream it is going to get the data from the keyboard hard disk and network converts who will take care of this of these streams JVM is going to take care of the input stream and output stream. So we are, we are going to get the data from keyboard uh, from the keyboard to the input stream, from the hard disk to the input stream. Similarly, if you want to send the data, you send it to the output stream. It is going to display it on the screen. It is going to copy it on the hard disk. These things will be taken care. But, but the point you need to understand from here onwards, whenever the data comes from keyboard to input stream, from here onwards, we need to read the data into our program. How we need to read the data? What are the classes that are available for that? These are the points we need to understand. Now coming to the next uh, next continuation. So we are having two types of input stream, input and output streams. One is byte stream and the other one is character stream. If the input stream which is going to read the data from the keyboard, from the hard disk in the form of bytes, it will take first byte, second byte, read the next byte, read the next byte. If it is done that way using bytes, that we call it as byte stream. If the input uh, is de input data is read from the keyboard or if you send the data onto the key uh, onto the display using characters send the first character send the next character read the next character if it is done that way we call it as character streams so whenever this whenever the data comes to the input stream from here onwards we need to read the data so in order to in order to do that uh, they have provided some classes so for byte stream, these are the super classes. These are the first classes they have developed, they have given for us. These are available in the documentation. These are available in our Java. We can use these classes. Input stream is an abstract class. Output stream is an abstract class. Similarly, for character streams, the first class they have they have developed and they use they have given for us is reader class and writer class. So most of the times we are going to we are going to use byte streams. So in this class we are going to show you the input stream class and we need to understand few important points. These points are going to be used in our next classes. So the first first super class which is available to read the data from the keyboard is input stream class. Now take a look at that class. So we will check the documentation of that class. So this is the documentation. Go to the Google and you type it as input stream in Java. 
in the oracle website this is the official website for java documentation if you click on this so the class that belongs to that input stream is provided and the complete documentation is available here what is this class class input stream which package from which package it is java.io package we are having this input stream class so details about that class it is going to implement what interfaces it is going to implement and this class is public abstract class input stream this is an abstract class and the constructor that is available for this abstract class and the details about this class this abstract class is a super class of all classes representing an input stream of bytes this is the topmost class from this you need to understand means this is an abstract class this class can be used by any other classes they can inherit this class this is the topmost class super class means we are having so many subclasses which are going to use this super class we will understand in our next classes which subclasses we are going to use and what what about those classes and all those things but if you have this basic understanding it's very easy to understand the next classes this is an abstract this is the super class and what are the constructors that are available only one constructor available for it which is a input stream of uh, what are the methods that are available there are so many methods available int available of it is not an abstract method means implementation is done here and what is this method is going to do returns an estimate of number of bytes that can be read or skipped over from this input stream that is what this available method is going to so the point you need to understand we can use these methods that is that is what that is how you have to check the documentation and the next methods is close and mark off and one more method abstract int read off this is an abstract method so the only abstract method that is present in input stream class is a read off method what it has to do reads the next byte of data from the input stream so the points you need to understand this is this is about the documentation of input stream class so the the next points you need to understand here see here assume see abstract class input stream we are just writing the whatever the documentation we have we have checked now that is what we have written input stream of uh, in this we are having abstract read of class so from this whenever it is an abstract class can you create an object for abstract class no we cannot create object for abstract class but we can inherit this class so assume that we are writing a class x extends input stream yes that is that we can do it x is a class which is inheriting the input stream whenever it inherits the abstract class whatever the abstract methods that present here it has to implement that method means x is implementing this read of method now we can create objects for this class x x ob is equal to new x of yes we can do that we can use both the methods this method read of method and whatever the methods that are available in the class input stream of so these are the points we can use those all those methods now another point you have to understand in our last class we discussed that a super class variable can refer to the subclass object yes most of the times we are going to use this concept in our next classes input stream is the super class we are creating a reference ob1 for input stream input stream which is a super class super class variable can refer to the subclass object new x of x of is a subclass object yes this can be referred to ob1 these concepts we are going to use much in our coming classes hope you understand you got an idea about what streams and input stream class similarly you check the documentation of all these classes output stream reader class writer class Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.